Never learned that. He has turned into the greatest watchdog that we've ever had. It's like he has a second job, just eyes open watching. Mm -hmm. Yes. And when he sees, Asshole. and all of a sudden he opens millions of eyes and ears. Yeah. Aha! Don't play with me. A next challenge. I would like to think that just way more black people turned out to vote than white people. Is that possible? Is that? Let's see what. Let's get to the bottom of it. We need to make sure what system is in place. As he said, are we sure about the system? Is it not sort of racially rigged? Right. 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 What is his plan put into play themselves? What is his plan? We choose truth over facts. And I want to thank you all to eradicate the shit that he and her put into play. Uh oh, this is serious. This is a big deal. Look at this. Every grocery store looks like this. Look at this. Can't even get no fucking food for my kids, G. Look at this. Look at this. In my hood, I feel like an animal. And black people made me feel like an animal. Y'all did this to us. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the store. Look at this. This, this. this is what we're fighting for. Look at this. I am so devastated right now, G. This is not okay. Because we do stupid shit like this all the time. And we so black proud. We so black and proud that we ain't gonna never be honest and be real about what's really going on. Y'all are so wrong for this. You came in your neighborhood and fucked up your shit. Y'all let the white folks send y'all off once again. Meanwhile, we got plenty of fruits and vegetables. Now, you, I bet you, you can't go to nobody and ask them, hey, you got some food, unless because they're going to sell it to you. And sell it to you for double. That's what black folks do. Y'all think this shit is funny. It's not fucking funny. Go up your own shit. Them white people laughing, having a fucking field day. Came up here, helped y'all fuck up your south side. Why they pillaging and having fun on their north side? This shit's not funny. I work my ass off every day. Wanna talk about racism? Love yourself first. Shut up. For real. Well, of course all the liquor gone. So all the drugs. What about people who have cancer? Look at nobody can even get no medicine. Y'all took all the medicine. How many people ain't gonna be able to live? Because y'all stole the medicine. I said what I said, and I meant what I said. Now he's bigger right now. We're finished. We're finished, bro. Yeah? I want all these rappers talking about coming out on Saturday to tell me what the hell you're talking about. To tell young people to come out on Saturday and follow you to a war. Yeah? What is that about? Yeah? You don't know what these people are like. EDL will come out with, with transit vans. They will drive through a whole crowd. Yeah? They will come out with acid. They will throw it in your face. What's muscle gonna do when they throw acid in man's face? You don't need to stop thinking about clout chasing and oh, what can I say to get more people to like my stuff and how to make people think I'm a leader and do this and follow my page and I need all the people following me. Shut up, yeah? You can just stop instigating war and beef, bruv. Use your head, all of you clout chasers. On all of you think it's gonna be war. Yeah, it's gonna take one brick. One brick to fly from either side and it's kicking off. This is our chance in Virginia to lead by example. This is our chance to lead, to truly embrace the importance of Juneteenth and treat it as a celebration of freedom that black people deserve. Worldwide, by the way. This is a chance for our government, our corporations and our citizens to all stand in solidarity with their African American brothers and sisters. This year, Juneteenth will look like no other Juneteenth before it. You know, testing is a government story. We tested now 25 million people. Because here's the bad part. When you test them, when you do testing to that extent, you're going to find more people, you're going to find more cases. So I said to my people, slow the testing down, please. They test. 
when they test, we got tests that people don't know what's going on. We got tests. We got another one over here. The young man's 10 years old. He's got the sniffles. He'll recover in about 15 minutes. That's a case. And up to him. That's a case. That's a case. Right. Stay woke, people creeping. They gon' find woke. you. Hold on now, hold on. You can do it, sister. Come on now, come on. Keep your eyes open. Baby. You got it. You can do it. Come on. You got it. There you go. There you go. You got it. You got it. Hold on now. What? What's your name? Oh, yeah, that's me. It is you. Mm -hmm. So you're out of prison. Yes. And you're comfortably shopping in Cup Foods. As if you didn't do anything. I'm not, I wouldn't call it comfortably, I'd just say getting necessities. To get some nephew cookies. I don't think you should have that right, I don't even think you should be out on bail. I can understand I that. mean, how does it feel? I'm sorry you feel that way. No, you're not sorry. Like, you're literally outside here, comfortable. To get some nephew cookies. Did you think that people weren't going to recognize you? Honestly, did you? You don't have the right to be here. You, you you kill somebody in cold blood, you do not have the right to be here. Do you? Yeah, I'm just gonna grab my stuff and this go. is the officer who was let out of jail today for shooting George Floyd. Or I'm sorry, suffocating him. Because this video is going to be on the internet. And you will be going back to jail. Trust. Trust. Yeah, he bailed out. How'd you get the money? Man, I hate this job for real. I do too. When you gonna quit? Yeah, I'm gonna quit the same day you quit. Matter of fact, when you put your two weeks in, let me see the paper so I can write on the back. Me too. I got you. I got you. Fuck this job. Fuck this job, bitch. I quit. Fuck this job. Cause I don't really need this shit. Okay. Fuck this job. Cause the boss act like hey. a bitch. Hey. Fuck this job. He always talking and all that shit. Okay. Fuck this job. Every oh, everything good over job. here, bitch. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Verse two, fuck this job. Wait, <laughs> say he checking out booties, baby. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> so I had intended to get up here and talk about how racist Robert E. Lee was, but I'm gonna talk about you, Connie. Sitting over there shopping while we talking about Robert E. Lee. This is a picture of you shopping while we talking about racism and history in this country. <laughs> And you set your arrogant self in here and sit on that shopping while the pain and the hurt of the people of this community is on display because you don't give a damn and you should resign. You should have resigned two years ago when you choked the white man in his house. You should have resigned two weeks ago when you got on TV and said foolishness. And you should walk out of here and resign and never come back because you are the example of racism in this community. You are horrible. But I'm going to tell you what the slaves, my ancestors, said. All over the country, they're burning stuff down. And black folks in this city have stood with protesters. I ain't seen you elected officials out there with them. Man, your legacy is attached to tonight, brother. Your legacy. Let's stand on this moving forward. Because we don't need to apologize for Connie, Evelyn. She showed you who she was when she was sitting next to you while you were talking shopping. You don't need another example. You want to name the building after somebody? How about PBS Pinchback, the first black governor of the state of Louisiana, when he was governor during Reconstruction? You want another name? Oscar Dunn, who was the lieutenant governor of the state of Louisiana in the 1860s that gave the right for Darius Lannis and Don Collins and, and Evelyn Ware Jackson and Tramiel Howard to get here. You want to name it after somebody from Reconstruction? Name it after the people who fought for abolition of slavery. If you want to name it after somebody, honor the right people. The people who are on the right side of history. But it's your ancestor that the school is named after. So you're holding on to your heritage. But we built this joint for free. Thank and we've done begging you to do what's right. Thank you, sir. So I learned this poem to express how we all feel. Mm -hmm. Come on, baby. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you do or say at this point will not matter. Because your skin color has already confessed the crime. You have the right to remain, no, you have the right to an attorney who will try as hard as to see that justice is served in a jury of our peers, aka our attorneys, that is outmatched 12 to 1. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you free as charge because he's also on our payroll. 
Do you understand these words as they were read to you? Whoa, 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 whoa. I see you reaching for your 9 millimeter wallet. I see you reaching for your 38 caliber inhaler. Don't move. Stop breathing. You're puffing up your chest. I feel threatened. Is that a weapon? Lay down. No, face down. No, face ground. Pow. Oops, I did it again. I'm a pop star. No, I'm a pop star. No, I'm a cop star. By the time I get back to the prison, I'll be a rock star. Platform. I have more black names on trophies than BET award winners. Platform. They're going to honor me at the VPT award dinner. Platform. They're going to throw me a parade. Platform. Because when I clap for them, they go to the grave. Black boys' tears fall on deaf white ears. Black mothers' tears keep graveyard grass green. Black men's bones are the gavel to which finalizes false convictions. Wake up, black boys. It's time to declare war. I wonder how Trayvon Martin's mother felt that her son has a household name but not a household body. I wonder how George Floyd's mother felt to watch her son wrongfully die without dignity. I wonder if black mothers are so close to God because they have to give up their only begotten son. I wonder if black people are darker because we're only closer to the sun. How many years will it take for us to become bulletproof because we're closer to the guns? I'm tired of going to funerals where babies are buried in bigger boxes than, than, than what they put their toys in. I wonder when America wakes up and sees that black people aren't sleeping because the American dream is the African American nightmare. I, I'm tired that laws are, that if laws are lullabies to black people and that I'm forced to stay woke in the society. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of forced to stay woke. And if I go to sleep, I might not wake up. This is the thing you gotta remember. What's happening right now? Yeah. This is called history. Right. Cause this moment ain't coming back. That's if people right. can look at it. The when I hear something fucked up happen to a cop, I be like, eh, he probably had it fucking coming. Cause the motherfuckers like you. Good cops get fucked up right because of people like you. You came to the car with your gun out. For what? Do you have no conscience of, you don't see what the fuck going on on TV? Because I just would have been another dead black motherfucker, right? And you just would have went about your business, right? 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 That, let's keep it real, let's keep it 100. I have no issue if you could just, just be honest, right? You just would have been like, oh, a mistake happened. Right? You'd have been there to just wake up the next day, not lose a drop of motherfucking sleep. But I'd have had three fucking kids. Three kids with no dad. Dad a criminal? Nope. Dad a thug? Nope. Dad shot dead by a cop. Made a mistake. You got, you picked a dangerous fucking job. And I respect that. Draw the fucking gun? That's why I lose the respect. The respect is out of the fucking window. Put your fucking gun on me for a fucking turn signal. She's fucked up, man. I need to think about that. Yeah, pathetic, man. Fucking pathetic. Even the motherfuckers who be wanting to have respect for y'all, man, and be and, and kind of can understand the shit that y'all got to go through being cops. But yo, y'all be going too far, y'all fuck it up. I gotta, I gotta ask you though, you know, why so much resistance on admitting the crime bill and, and other legislation you are a part of was damaging to the black community? Which I oppose. Mandatory, man, I oppose the you, I thought you, you created, I thought you uh, was a part of that in 84 as well. No, no. What happened was you're what you're confusing is what what happened was the Black Caucus came to me and said, look, one of that. Well, I did this study when I was chairman of the Judiciary Committee. We looked at every district of the <coughs> of the, of the ten. part because of its neglect created. Again, it does not mean because we created them that we somehow forgive them or do not take them out of society to protect my family and yours from them. They are beyond the pale. Well, I'm there too. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Cause I'm her limit The systems are outdated No longer falsely validated The time is now